Hey friend, it is your quirky, creative, weird person that you watch online who's into Elvis, creepy weird stories, and spooky TV shows to bring you another makeup transformation. If you're new to this channel, I have been in the makeup industry for over six years, do beauty and effects videos, and I create these videos while talking about scary stories, weird, random, odd things I find online, while we're doing body paintings, makeup effects with prosthetics and appliances, and beauty makeup tips as well. So stick around, subscribe for more videos. We do videos every Monday and Friday, and today's video is going to be very interesting because we are turning into none other than Jim Carrey's The Mask. Well, a little twist, I'm going to do a modern day glam version of it. Getting ready for Halloween, why not? Honestly, I found a beautiful green lipstick in my collection, and I have a thrifted yellow coat, and I'm like, this inspires me to do something awesome. Because you don't need to spend a lot of money on Halloween. And we're gonna put a hat on so you don't even have to do a ball cap, but you know me, I'm gonna go above and beyond and do a ball cap while we are talking about things that are found in people's houses that are creepy and weird. I found articles that are creepy stories since Jim Carrey's original movie, The Mask, that's inspiring this video is about him finding this mask and discovering it and putting it on his face and he becomes like an alter ego character that has a lot more confidence than he has, that gets him a lot of trouble, but I feel like he learns a lot of lessons in life. So we are gonna talk about some creepy things found in like old homes, things found in walls and ceilings and basements uh, and attics of homes is just my dreams come true. I love things like that. So let's get started. Okay, can I just say the first thing that I love about the mask so far is that I don't have to cut the ear holes into this because the mask doesn't have any ears. Anyways, the first weird things randomly found in people's houses stories is someone's friend's parents moved into the house and they found 37 shoes, but not just any shoes. The shoes were only of the left foot in their attic. Just a pile of them. What what happened to the right foot? Who lived there before? What if it was like an amputee though? I have so many questions. There's so, so little answers because a lot of these stories came from Reddit and so I don't know the answers. Again, like I said, you don't need to do all this. You can just put a hat on and paint your face green and got yourself the man. I just realized I hope I have enough prose because I'm almost out. This is my first time reading most of these stories, so this next one sounds interesting already because supposedly whoever got this house before them, a hoarder lived in it. And someone bought it from the hoarder from an estate sale and fixed it up all nice, then sold it to them. The person that, you know, cleaned it up and sold it to them had gotten rid of most of all the hoarder's junk, except a few things that were left behind, which I mean, it could be understandable. I've seen hoarder homes and some of them are insanely like floor to ceiling fire hazard. But what was weird and would creep me out is there was a cabin in the wall in the garage that had a burlap sack in it. And what do you think was in this creepy burlap sack? It was full of none other than chicken feathers. What? Like, what? What does one do with chicken feathers? Is there some art project I don't know about that people use with chicken feathers? I'm so confused. I look like a Teletubby when it was created by whether whatever baby godly heaven before it was painted. You know what I mean? Like what would my symbol be? I think it would be a star or a pencil <laughs> or a makeup brush. Is that a symbol? My Teletubby symbol? Gonna get some latex and stipple it on with the red sponge. But even weirder about these feathers was that they weren't like you know those beautiful down-like feathers that you put and use, well people use in, you know, feather pillows and stuff like that? These were like straight up roughly plucked, fresh, well not fresh because they're old, but they are plucked from chickens like on a farm and some of them still had like blood on them and they're coarse like what were they saving them for? Someone on these Reddit stories say that they know someone who went into a basement of their house that they just we're renting. I don't know if I would trust renting a house that had a basement in the first place, to be honest, because that just gives more room for, basements creep me out. Anyways, well, maybe I would if I lived in, if I needed a basement, somewhere I needed a basement. Anyways, but they found a straight up human spine in their basement. Wait, what? Like, 
was this person like what i don't i don't even know what the logistics like what would be the right situation where it'd be okay and like make sense for them to keep spawns in their basement and this is even creepier it was in the ceiling of the basement and when they called their landlord to tell them about this spine they found it wasn't a human spine he just said oh it's a dog spine and he took it and left i would look up i mean i knew the first and last name of my landlord look them up in their background do a background check can you do a background check on your landlord is that legal? Can you? I mean, I would if, I, if it's legal. I have to make sure I don't get this too close to my eyebrows because I'm doing so many layers of this liquid latex and I don't want to rip my eyebrows off even though we're going to cover them soon. You know. This next story is creepy as can be because oh my gosh. So this person hired a contractor to look at this home that they were thinking of buying at a real estate estate sale it was because they're thinking of renovating it. And when the contractor went to look at the house because they're gonna obviously renovate it, they went up into the attic to finish their inspection of the house to see what they need to get done. And when he went, opened the attic door, he came face to face with a glass-eyed, creepy, haunted-looking doll. <sighs> man, oh man. You know those dolls that you, when you lay them back, their eyes like close kind of, but this doll was four feet tall. Do you guys remember the Phantom Curiosities episode I did on this channel talking about Robertina? That's what this sounds like. But when this doll was laying on its side, it had one eye open and one eye completely shut, which those dolls aren't usually like that all the time. Like the d eyes usually, you know, close together <laughs> at the same time. And they're really freaked out. They even, you know, contacted the real estate agent for the estate sale that they were getting this home with and they are like having her come up to the attic and she screamed because that's how scary this doll was. All right, this next story is pretty crazy. This person's house was built in 1879 and it had a large stone cistern out back. If you don't know what cistern is, I had to look it up. Don't worry, you're not dumb <laughs> unless we both are. But a cistern is like somewhere where they store water for like the toilet and stuff like that. But they drained it and cleaned it out so they could plug a hole into it that was causing a leak in their basement. So it was a little renovation. You know what they found? They found old toys. You know what kind of toys? Not ones for kids. You know what kind of toys I'm talking about? The adult kind. Anyways. <laughs> they also found like old watches and wine bottles. Like what? This is rubber mask grease paint that I had to make myself this color. I feel like I'm turning into Kermit the Frog with some guacamole on my forehead. And what was even weirder is on their property they found an old tomb mausoleum. <gasps> oh my gosh, I wish I was there. Stuff like that interests me so much. Why don't they have a show about this? I know they have like pickers for antique stuff, but I want a show about weird things that they find in people's houses. Is there a show like that? Let me know down below if there is. Turns out the tomb was the original owner's kid's tomb. Was the kid's body in it? I don't know. Oh, it was, but they emptied it and the kids, you know, went, went to where their parents were buried. This is depressing. It was kind of creepy to them because they cleared some brush and stuff down in that basement and there was like an angel face facing them when they found this tomb mausoleum thing. <sighs> you know, I was thinking people would be finding in these stories like old newspapers. If I'm talking too loud, it's because when I do this near my ear under this ball cap, it's really loud. Now this next story is like my dream come true. This person found an old beautiful historic Victorian home and the owner before it only owned it for three or four years and decided to sell it right away. Red flag. And when they were exploring this property of this Victorian home, of course there was some junk left behind, some odd ends, just the usual things, but they decided to go in the attic. It's already getting scary. It's always the attic, the basements, the crawl space and under floorboards, isn't it? Well, they went in this attic and in the crawl space of the attic was a water, hot water closet heater thing. But in the base, under the sink, under the floorboards of this home, it was full of matches, like 50 matches or more. 
And not just there, all over the house they found matches, like way over 50, probably hundreds of matches. And whenever, when they were living in this house, like each day they found more and more and more matches. Like what was this person doing with these matches? I hope they were just like one of those cute old grandmas that just collected matchbooks and took the matches and didn't, they, she just wanted like the outside of the matchbook and didn't know what to do with the matches so she hid them because maybe she didn't smoke but you could use matches every day to like light a stove to light a candle so i don't get it, it makes no sense again you do not have to do a bald cap for this makeup look you could do just a hat like i have a yellow hat that i'm gonna put on over it later so that we can have both options Alrighty then i hope that matches oh my gosh i'm so nervous all right i think this matches anyway Someone found in one of their houses, like paper bags, but I don't find this creepy. I mean, everyone saves paper bags, but they found over 22,000 paper bags, which could be a little concerning. 22,000 paper bags. Really? What? One person in their home that they purchased found hidden rooms, not like full on huge regular size room, but little rooms here and there throughout their house. And they actually got in touch with their architecture over this. And the story of it was that they decided to redo their walk-in pantry because it was super outdated. But when they started taking down the walls, the walls didn't have like studs in some of them, which is like totally not okay when it comes to like housing laws or building houses. It wasn't up to code. So they were really confused. Like I would be too. I'm sure my dog, she's right at my feet, thinks I'm insane. Like, why is mom turning into green peas? Back to this story, the reason why there was no studs in certain walls is because there was a hidden wall behind there. What? I'm just using translucent powder so that my eyes hopefully won't crease. I'm gonna use this translucent powder on my face so that I could put other makeup on top. And when they tear the walls of the pantry down, there's a three by five foot room, almost like a closet behind the pantry walls. And there was mechanical levers in said walls of pantries to even access it. What? We are on Batman mode. I feel like Batman would have levers in his house to do something like this. And like I said, he con contracted, contacted the architect and the architect told the story about the previous owner who had seven secret rooms installed in this house, hidden. So it's like a weird game of like, find treasure. Yeah, they commissioned this and they found like at least three more rooms that had these like closets that could fit around two people in each of them. I'm so glad I have the color drain Vivid's palette because look at these greens, yes. So they found these hidden rooms in the pantry, the laundry room, and their like utility closet. So interesting. I'm just contouring my face and my head. And the even more Batman-like thing that was weird was they had a mag magnetic key to get access to these hidden rooms. Like what? Sounds pretty neat, but weird when you first move into this house, right? I feel like I need a deeper contour since I'm doing a female version. Give me them cheekbones, baby. Someone said that they found a really big army rucksack in their house with nothing but teeth in it. Human teeth. That would creep me out even more than hidden rooms. What would I rather ha want in my house? A weird person that has hidden rooms that's for probably like safety reasons in case there's a home invasion because maybe they're an overthinker like I am and watch way too many murder shows and murder podcasts and listen to those every single night of their life like me or a possible ser serial killer that kept medals of teeth in his house. Like those are his trophies. I say he because statistically most serial killers and murders are men. So this lipstick, if you're wanting to get it, it's so pretty and it looks like, I can't even explain it, like deep moss, like velvety deep moss. It is the color Emerald City by the Catsuit Liquid Lips by Wet n Wild. I don't know if they still sell it, but it's gorgeous. Anyways, this one person on these stories that I found found a six bedroom house that was built in 1910. What? Ni not 1910, 1912. Still, oh my gosh, that excites me. And what creeped them out is that on some of the, at, when they were looking at the bedroom walls at certain angles, they found writing on it. Maybe it was like small writing or hidden writing, but it said, beware of raccoons. 
on one of the bedroom walls and it was kind of concealed because someone had tried to paint over it but it was like a really bad paint job of trying to paint over it whoever tried so they could see it and one night the person who lived in the house now was drunk with their friends and <laughs> a drunken fun party night they decided to go in the attic and they found this really creepy painting that was like a four by four canvas of this old man creepily looking into a mirror. What? The whole mystery of this, that's the end of the story. The whole mystery of that creeps me out to no end and I don't know why. So this next story starts off in the middle of nowhere all the way out in the middle of North Dakota. I'm putting eyebrows on her because I just feel like she would have some like flapper thin eyebrows the female version of the mask and this forewarning if you're not into self-harm stuff like that uh, they found a little poem that's graphic in their home and it went a little something like this the poem that they found in their home said i wrote a little poem i wrote it on my wrist i wrote it with a blade and i wrote it with a twist dark speaking of dark this dark green is called Squad, and this lighter green eyeshadow that I use is called Level Up from the Vivid Color Dragon eyeshadow palette. But that's so creepy. And what's even creepier that the kid who found the poem in his house, his parents told him that the owner before them killed himself in their backyard. Oh my gosh, why would you tell your kid that? Unless the kid, I guess, was, they felt he or she was old enough, but oh my gosh. I am loving this makeup look so far. I'm just doing kind of a halo eye effect, but making it go upwards and trying to smoke it out. And they rented this place, so needless to say that they, after they found that poem, they didn't stay there very long. I wouldn't either if I had the choice. The previous owner of this person's parents' house left their daughter's braids in the basement. Why? What? That's so creepy. I hope this look comes out good because I'm just freestyling it. Free ballin'. I'm just doing things how I, it comes to me. Whatever inspiration with this, all this green. I'm gonna be dreaming of green eyeshadow. I'm not into plays, but I wish I could have done the makeup of Miss Wicked. Green eyeshadow, I know people are scared of it, but I love it. Or they don't like it, not scared of it. A lot of people are so scared of green eyeshadow. Why? Maybe because I have some green in my eyes, but I feel like it makes it pop. Especially, I think it makes brown eyes pop. Gosh, this makes me want to turn into a Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, or there's so many great green characters, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh, I'm so glad I did this. Just getting inspiration alone from this makeup look. You have to repack some of this paint though, because when you touch your face, the more and more you touch it, the more it comes off. Anyways, I'm gonna put some yellow right where I would put my usual highlight because my highlight is gonna be the same that I used in my last video, which is gonna be from the Just My Look palette, but they sell this individually. It's the Mary Jane eyeshadow. So good of a great green highlighter. I swear to you, if I collab with a makeup company, if I got to do a collaboration that was like, oh my gosh, glam Halloween collection, I would have a green highlighter. Just would. Who makes green highlighters? No one. Like, look how freaking pretty that is. Oh my gosh. Gotta do some underbrow highlight way up here, even though my brow's way over here. Yes. Miss the mask. Duh, gotta do lip highlight, upper lip highlight. It's not a cat sketch makeup video unless I do upper lip highlight. This is so pretty. And I mean, come on, we gotta highlight this. I'm gonna run out of this eyeshadow. I think I have one more somewhere in one of my ColourPop palettes. I need to look. Yeah. I'm trying white glitter. I wish I had some green glitter. This is Pixies. I always repurchase this. It's the crystalline. Just need something, you know? I think we're ready to put on some lashes and the outfit and I will be right back. I'm so excited. I love how this is turning out. And with that, we're completely done with our female version of the mask. What do you think for Halloween time? I could have done the ball cap better, but I only had one. I'm not having great luck with ball caps today. Thank you for listening to my creepy stories of random objects that people have found in their homes. I mean, I think the bag of human teeth was one of the scariest and that creepy painting in the attic of the man staring in the mirror. I thought it'd be fitting since that's kind of what the mask is based upon, a random object that he finds that turns him into this alter ego person and his dog as well. If you haven't seen that movie, oh my gosh, it's so good. I mean, Jim carries everything. And I thought I would do this glam version of it. 
I had so much fun doing this. All the products that I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box. I mean, maybe I just wanted to buy a yellow hat because <laughs> that's why I want to do this look. Again, subscribe for more creepy stories, makeup effects, beauty videos. Leave a comment down below on what video you guys would love to see next on this channel, inspired by Halloween coming up. I'm so excited. If you guys did this makeup look, oh my gosh, you don't have to do the bald cap. I mean, come on. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm so excited for Halloween looks. See you later, guys. Love y'all. Bye.